Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex with Dina Tub Corbin. I'm Nick Falls. Instagram and Twitter. I'm on Juicy Content. It's so cute. Oh, so perfect. What are you doing? Just looking at the cool screen that the stupid bit is made for us. Yep. Today we're reacting to a, I think it's a, almost a um, tourism kind of aerial shot video of the city. Little Mermaid? Yes. Uh, City of Lakes, Udaipur. Okay. Which is in, I believe, Rajasthan. Um, but whenever we were told that we were going to Rajasthan, obviously we, were, we went to Jaipur, which we loved. But everyone said, no, you need to go to Udaipur because it has all the stuff, but then a ton of lakes. Oh. <laughs> so, like, everything's lakeside and all that kind of stuff. Oh. And so it's supposed to be a really beautiful city. So Next time. We will eventually, eventually. get to Udaipur. We'll get all the way around in the circuit. Uh, By uh, 2038? 2072. Wow, wait a minute. Yeah, I'll also be here. And here we go. Oh. Oh, you're just showing off right at the outset. Oh. <laughs> I can see why. That's, that's beautiful. Good grief. <laughs> Wow. Looks like an English palace. I was just gonna say, it looks European. <coughs> I mean, I understand the British had an influence, but come on. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Reminds me of the uh, the palace we saw on the lake in, in yeah. Jaipur. Yeah. Is that a common thing? That's a beautiful shot. I want to stay there. Is that an Airbnb? I wonder if it has underwater glass things you can see into the murky depths. Good music choice. Dang, I know. Gorgeous. So everything is just overlooking a lake. Yeah, and there's a lot of lake. I guess that's common, like what we saw in yeah. Whoa! Wow! That looks incredibly intricate. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool shot. Those those like bumper boats. That's a great shot. Drone, drones just wasn't a windy day that day. <laughs> drones just made filmmaking so much cooler. It's funny when you see aerial shots now in films, you can see the shakiness of the helicopter you compared the, to the drone. Is the blue city here? Don't know. Hey, it, it also gives me very small grease vibes. Yeah, a little you know? bit. From this far out, especially. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a gorgeous city. Yeah. India, you never cease to surprise. Like, this is so different. It's like Venice of I'm India. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to go. Cool. Is it going downhill? I always see something like that and go, why don't you just build a road straight through it? It's probably going downhill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Reminds me of that big fort we went on in, in Rajasthan. That wall's gonna keep on the. I'm not gonna say. Let's see. I was gonna say, it keeps on the mud up, shows out. Is that one giant that, freaking palace? Is that like a big old. It's like the freaking Vatican. That's a palace in the middle of the water. Not a lot of enemies gonna get there. <laughs> Look at that. Mountains in the back.
can't imagine how gorgeous this is in person because it looks this pretty on video. Great shots. Oh, of course, bird flew through frame just Great video, fantastic video. But obviously that city kind of does all the work for you, right? Really does. <laughs> but yeah. Not that, hard to make that city look pretty. There's the old adage, a picture paints a thousand words. Uh, that nobody needed to say anything. That was gorgeous. <laughs> now, I could uh, see why everybody was like, no, you need to go to Uda. Because I'm, even though I don't regret going to Oh, no. Nice. So I, oh. I would go again in a second because we only got to spend a day there. Yes. Uh, feels like we did a ton in, in just a day, though. Um, but yeah, there, it looks like this just has. I bet a lot of people vacation in this place yeah. just to get those beautiful views. Peaceful. I bet there's a bunch Beauty. of nice resorts and stuff that there. It looks really relaxing. Um, where's like the big. I mean, I guess there's a bunch. Obviously, there's Goa. Big yeah, vacation that's spot. the big vacation spot in the southwest. Well, I guess there's probably a ton. I'm sure there are, but I mean the most popular that we've been uh, I'm made aware of. At least beach one. But this, I bet, would probably be high up there on the uh, on the list. Yeah. Because of just at least looking how pretty it is. Um, and then I bet the, the northern part with the uh, the mountains mm -hmm. as well. I, I said it while we were reacting to it, that India just doesn't cease to, to amaze. And it's like... India's like, two thoughts about this. India's like a people. Like if you just judge them at face value, you're never gonna really appreciate the depth and the beauty of who they are. And the more you get to know people, the more you typically find out amazing things about them. And last night there was an Indian uh, food truck oh, yeah, in my right. neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's called the Bollywood Kitchen. What'd you have? I had um, this, this, a yogurt dish that had some cucumber and seasonings in it that was a cool dish that was Indrani's recommendation. She looked at the menu with me before I walked down to it. And then a lamb rice curry bowl Ooh. to kind of juxtapose each other, right? So it was nice to have the cool and yeah. lamb curry. And then the lady gave me a free vegetable samosa and I got a, a garlic naan and had mango lassi. All of it, and I looked at her seasonings across the top of her truck. And I talked with her, she's from Mumbai. Mm -hmm. And it, it is, without question, the best Indian food I've had here because mm -hmm. it tasted like a lady from India just took her recipes and the ingredients and made it the way you would make it in Mumbai. Yeah. It, it tasted like the food we ate in Mumbai. Yeah. But my friend Brett was asking me uh, what I, how many people were there. And he said it didn't look like there were a lot of people that were there in the neighborhood. And there were only like five or six people that went to it. And I said, you know what? That's really like the way people think about India, if they only knew, like if, if they only tasted and saw, there should have been a line at that truck. Yeah. Uh, but because they haven't really tasted and seen it, and I felt that way about India, that's how we were. It's like, we, like you said it the other day, in one of our reactions or we, that it's been part of our life for two years now, but so, everybody else around here, for the most part, has no clue yeah. about how great yeah. Things are. I bet most people, like, if you showed them this, we'd be like, that's India? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's what we've been doing for two years. Yeah. That's India? That's India? Wow. Yeah. And you keep on impressing. Yeah. Uh, so let us know what other tourism videos we should react to and uh, what other places we should go. Down below. <laughs> Tuk mata cerdik.